Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrology reader. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can tell from the title, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mars retrograde. And when I'm talking about one aspect of the astrological chart, I can't just talk about that one aspect. I have to talk about all the aspects that are lending their energy into what is that we can expect for this Mars retrograde in particular, because each one of them is different. Now, at the time of me filming this, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter are also retrograde. I'm sure you have seen and can tell by now that 2020 has been a very distinct year when it comes to standing out with um, massive, much needed transformation in all areas of our lives. This is because these major power planets, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter are retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, concentrating their ener energy into destroying, rebuilding, restructuring the systems that is that we know them to be. The reason why I'm starting off by saying this is because those energies are lending their vibe, their essence, their energy into Mars turning retrograde and joining them as well. So at the time of me filming this, Mars is currently direct in the sign of Aries, but starting September 9th until November 13th, Mars ruling our drive, our ambition, our aggression, how we physically exert our, our energy and move in order to accomplish tasks, in order to see things through, is going to start moving retrograde. So when we have all of these pieces, these different components working together in order to create this um, energetic shift, we have to remind ourselves, and it's really important to remember, that as these planets are, are retrograde currently or preparing to go retrograde and then um, switching up to turn direct, we have to move in alignment with them. If not, we're going to find ourselves beating our heads up against a brick wall. That's what it's going to feel like. We're going we're gonna to feel as though no matter what key we try to put in the door, it doesn't open. We're going to find ourselves having these combative moments with uh, people that it is that we would hopefully, ideally, would rather work with, build with. I say this over and over and over again on my YouTube channel, so if you're part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you've heard me say this multiple times before, and I'm going to say it moving forward into the future because it's so true, and that's the goal and the main motivating force behind Bahati Life, um, is when you know how to work with the energy of the planets, you can make them work for you, not against you. That means that if you are informed with the energy that is that you're working with, it can become your best friend and not your greatest enemy. So because Mars rules our ambition, it rules our drive, it rules our motivating factors and how we want to uh, physically you know, exert ourselves and push our energy forward, it's starting to um, turn retrograde, that means that we also have to work in respect with what these planets are doing. If not, we will find ourselves, especially with Mars uh, retrograde and definitely with Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter retrograde, we will find ourselves in really um, dangerous, I want to start off with the, the, worst, the worst news, we could find ourselves in some dangerous situations. We can find ourselves in um, the potential for accidents to happen. Mars, especially in Aries, Mars rules Aries. So it's this dominating force. It wants to take this leap out. It's very courageous. It's very bold. It's very assertive. But when it goes retrograde and when it's turning its energy inward, even the planets remind us that we have to stop, we have to slow down in order to rebuild our energy, restore our energy, in order to make sure that we are not going to stumble off the edge of a cliff sometimes. So I don't know if you guys have seen the Fool card within the tarot deck, but it reminds me sometimes of the energy of the Fool, which is this kind of blind, blind leap of faith or blind steps forward. When Mars turns retrograde and um, is turning all of his energy inward, it says instead of you taking those, those first steps um, outward, Instead of you, um, you know, trying to launch something brand new or building something up and pushing it and trying to push this, you know, this big rock up a hill, this big boulder up a hill, and you want to 
pause you really want to pause it's a very humbling aspect all of these planets right now it's definitely for 2020 are very humbling why because they say that there is a force greater than our own will sometimes that has to move that has to express itself that has to have that we have to surrender to that we have to allow it to move or else we'll get run over by it literally and figuratively so when mars goes retrograde meanwhile the 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 planets so saturn pluto and jupiter are working to de demolish to destroy certain things in our lives from organizations to businesses to government to hospitals to the rules of the and the ways that it is that we have become so accustomed to doing this this massive overhaul is happening in our lives in our relationships everywhere for everyone it's different this is a general reading so I'm not pulling your specific chart um, at this time I'm doing a general reading, general reading for everyone so you would want to see where these planets are falling in the sign of Capricorn but also where Mars where Aries what Aries what um, house Aries rules within your personal chart. So as these planets are going through and initiating this massive overhaul and this massive breakdown, um, we have to respect that. We have to move in alignment with that. So what does that look like? That means that if there's something uh, that you would that you are waiting to, for now to, to launch to initiate to, to take off the ground Let's say it could be because Mars rules our physical activity. Let's say it could be a new workout routine it could be um, A new business something that you are so passionate about something that you believe in something that you know Has all the potential to be successful looking at the chart at least for definitely for september 9th to november 13th it's not that you are going to put it on hold forever you're just going to put it on hold temporary this means that you're going to step into a space where you can instead of launching it out there because you want the planet supporting you you look at all of what it is that you have working for you and you revamp the plan you revamp the game plan. So this means that, what, well, one quote that's really standing out to me right now is the idea of working smarter, not harder. So Mars energy, definitely moving through the sign of Aries, is impacting all of us, making us feel, though, making us feel and, and giving us this, um, this, uh, you know, breath of fresh air in our lives, or at least that's what it wants to do, that makes us feel like, we can really do this if we believe in ourselves, if we're, we, if we're courageous, if we have enough strength and willpower, we can take anything and turn it into a something. We are powerful beings and all we have to do is push and it will happen, it will occur. It's not that that won't happen, it's the fact that before that can actually happen, before the planets will open the door to make that mindset a reality, to, to make it so that all the energy that you're exerting actually does pay off and does play out and does flow forward smoothly, we have to step in within ourselves and say, is there, humble yourself, is there a better way that for me to do things? Is there something that I need? Um, Aries energy rules the, the space of I am. So you have to define, you are invited to redefine yourself so that for at least for September 9th until November 13th, you have the opportunity to, opportunity to redefine yourself so that you have the keys, the energy, the know-how, the knowledge, the, the courage, the aggression, the ambition in order to make that dream, in order to make that re relationship, in order to make that goal an actual reality. So again, what I want you guys to take from what it is I just said is that during Mars retrograde, it's not saying that your goal, your your new career, this new car that you're buying, some of you guys are getting like fast cars, fast boats, some of you guys are booking trips, planning these things, you wanna, you're on the go, you wanna be on the move. It's not that that's not going to happen, it's not that that can't happen right now, it's the fact that it's best that you humble yourself, that you slow the brakes, you know, some of you guys are like, listen Jess, we've been put on hold all 2020. I understand that. There is, there is a, a human desire, a human need to, um, when you want to do something, you want to go ahead and do it. That's your will. Um, and when you understand that the universe is working on your behalf and does want you to be happy 
then sometimes we trick ourselves into being like, well, my way is the highway, especially with Mars, or my way is the only way. And if you're not with me, I'm leaving you. Especially with Mars moving through the sign of Aries, the universe does give us permission to be selfish and to say to ourselves, well, this is what I want, this is who I am. If you're not with me, then you're against me, and I'm moving on. That's that very um, warrior-like energy that says, you know, I'm gonna carry on regardless. It's, the, the universe acknowledges that, but at the same time, the universe says, and the divine says, not without me co-signing it. Where do your blessings come from? Where does your strength come from? Where does your force, this power, this ambition that is that you have, or this depression that is that you have, where does it come from? It comes from your chart. It comes from the planets. It comes from where, how it was that you were created. There's a larger energy that is flowing underneath an undercurrent of energy that is flowing that we have to have respect for, that we have to take into consideration. Or we will find ourselves in positions that we have to you know, get ourselves bailed out by someone, or we're on the side of the road waiting for the tow truck to pick us up. That's one of my friends actually was texting me today said that that was her situation because that's the energy. Mars retrograde right now, at the time of me filming it, it's February, I'm sorry, September 4th, but Mars is preparing to go retrograde, so we're already feeling this. Mars will say that we understand that you have these plans, these things that is that you want to see, do, accomplish, achieve, but you cannot work against the, the flow of the universe. You wanna work with the flow of the universe. So put those plans, not, don't put them on permanent hold. It's not that, they're putting, that you're putting them on hold. It's that you are finding different ways to use that ambition, that strength, and to redefine yourself in a way that is wiser, better, and will actually secure your longevity. So it's not gonna be like, oh, she had this great idea, or oh, he had this wonderful business plan, or oh, she had this, you know, this these trips planned, and she started it, and then all of a sudden, she everything fell apart, and she was abandoned in the middle of, you know, wherever it was that she, her will, her desire took her to. All right, so that's not gonna be your story if you know how to work with these planets, right? That's the other thing that it is that I have to say, is that keep in mind that it's not just Mars retrograde that is that we're looking at. It's um, Uranus falling in the sign of Taurus, retrograde at the time of me filming this, definitely covering the space of September 9th and November 13th. It's Neptune retrograde, it's Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, and some of those planets are gonna start wanting to move forward. They're gonna start moving direct. That should tell you right there that energy is so wonky to begin with. What do I mean by that? Energy is changing. There's a lot of ebbs, there's a lot of flows. Things are kind of fluctuating. They're definitely fluctuating. So knowing that, you wanna be able to realize that it's not just your effort alone. It's not just your intention alone that's going to make you successful, that's gonna help this relationship to work out, that's going to heal the brokenness in your relationships, that's going to heal this um, inability for all of your coworkers to work together, for all of your friends to work together to understand where it is that you're coming from, or for you to have a, a, a peaceful resolution in your living situation. If there's all of these components that are working together that are creating change, that are creating revelations, that are creating these, these highs and these lows. So instead of you internalizing this and being like, well, I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna try harder, the universe and all the planets themselves are saying, stop trying. Stop trying, surrender to what is happening right now. It's not that your intention isn't strong enough, it's not that someone else's intention isn't strong enough or that you're not good enough or that you're not doing enough. It's the fact that sometimes doing less will actually get gain you more. And that's what it is that you guys are gonna start seeing for definitely for the Mars uh, retrograde um, uh, moment. September 9th through the no November 13th, you're gonna work smarter, not harder. It's a very humbling aspect. Some of you guys are wanting to take shortcuts. You wanna, you're, and it's because you're ready to go. You wanna hit the, the, you wanna hit the finish line. You guys feel like you've been on the racetrack, going probably round and round in circles, or you keep, you know, um, getting these like, you know, when the car, when the car hits the gas and it kind of burns out. You know what I mean? It doesn't really go anywhere. A lot of you guys are feeling that way. It's not that you haven't done all that you can in your power. It's the fact that you shouldn't be launching 
new things that you want to last for the rest of your life in 2020. There's no planets that are supporting longevity of new ventures, of new, you know, engagement things in 2020. It's best for you to, um, it's best for you to focus on healing broken bonds, um, doing research on, you know, how the housing market. Some of you guys are working on your real estate license and those types of things, especially with um, Uranus moving to the sign of Taurus. You know, some of you guys are, are watching these investments, these massive investments. You're watching them take off and you're watching them drop. It's very unpredictable. The things that is that we want to invest in, the things that should be solid, nothing is solid right now. So as you're doing this, as you're seeing this, or as I'm telling you, because maybe it's not that you're watching it in the charts, maybe you, you go to a source to tell it tell it to you. Like Bahati Life is an excellent source for accurate, authentic astrological information that you can use in order to steer your life in the direction that is that you want it to go and work with divine timing. What is divine timing? It's perfect timing. What is timing? It's the planets of the, the movement of the planets. When a door opens, that's when you walk through it. When it's closed, there's no point. Keep turning the knob. I'll tell you when it's time to turn the knob. And right now, sorry guys. And right now, it's not the time to turn the knob. If anything, it's time for you to put on your your um, your your glasses. Or, I don't know, for some reason I'm seeing people doing like protection, a lot of protection from eye strain, a lot of protection from spiritual strain, from relationship strain. That's the other thing too, I've got to talk to you guys about relationships. Um, Mars is the god of war, okay? Mars is the god of war, it's the god of, the, of, it's a planet also of will. And what you can experience is the battle of the wills. You have to ask yourself, is it worth it with me fighting with you? Is it worth me fighting this this battle that is that we're fighting? What are we actually fighting for? What is our actual goal? The very opposite of Aries energy is Libra. Libra is about harmony, balance. I want to work with you. It's about relationships. I want to take you into consideration. That's your biggest uh, pitfall is de deciding and defining yourself in and observing yourself in your relationships with other people how do those relationships look like what is your contributing energy to these relationships i was having a uh, conversation with a few girl a few of my lady friends very beautiful goddess energy um last night over you know wine and cheese and stuff like that and we were just talking about you know this battle this battleground these battle the battlefield of relationships and these relationship dynamics and communication breakdowns and we were saying like a lot of one of the one of the goddesses i'm going to call her a goddess she was asking the question of like like why like why was this happening it's not a matter of asking the question why when when mars is retrograde moving through the sign of aries it's about asking not trying to overly understand why things are the way that they are because that would be a really deep dive. You would be digging for a long time to find the root core of issue of why someone is the way that they are, why you are the way that, it, that you are, and what you could do to fix it, or why things happen the way that they did. What does this mean? All of those questions are important, but you don't want to hyper-focus on digging that as much as it is you want to focus on building your future, focusing on the future, focusing on not the lack, but the gain, all that can be accomplished, all that can be achieved, all that the universe can give to you. How do you do that? By asking yourself, how does this make me feel? What is it that I need? Do I feel safe? Do I feel loved? Do I feel supported? Do I feel comfortable? Am I having fun? All of those questions, by you turning it and focusing on, focusing it on you, gives you all the answers that is that you need to know. If you're not getting what is that you need in that situation, then you you find the way to fill it up and not look look for that in other people and not fight with other people in order to get the things that is that you need for yourself. Why is it all about you? Because Mars is, well, Mars and Aries says, I am, and I am going to do. I am going to do for me what others, what I can't expect others to do for me anymore, any longer. It's almost to the point where it's not even responsible anymore. It's a very empowering energy. And as I said that, look, you guys, we have five of wands, 
five of wands reversed five of wands is competing trying to force your will trying to force your way trying to you know prove your point and you have to ask yourself for what you're the queen of pentacles this is about security long longevity long lasting success financial abundance um resources luxury the universe wants a better life for you do you want a better better life for yourself the next card that i pulled is the four of pentacles four of pentacles was also reversed but i'm going to show it to you guys upright and really what this is is it's a big cautionary tale that the person who holds on to the hardest well holds on the hardest usually loses the greatest they lose the most why? Because they're so stubborn in their way that they can't release, surrender, and allow themselves to receive more. So all they get and all they gain at the end of the day is all that they currently have. Remember, the universe is, a, is abundantly filled. It wants to bless your life. It wants to give to you in your life. This is not just physical or material manifestation and reward. It's also emotional, spiritual, and mental gain. Some of you guys are so stuck, right, in this battlefield where you say to yourself, well, this is as good as it can get, or I've come a long way, and now I'm gonna protect my peace, and my peace looks like this, this, and this, and this, and this. When reality is that Seven of Cups is here, and it says, explore your options, explore the fact that there is more out there, that there's different things that you can try out that will make you happy, that will make you fulfilled, and if you get stuck in your way of your perspective and your way of doing, uh, Mars moving through Aries is this is the way that I do things. This is the way that I've always done things. Well, if you look at the planets and if you look at the world right now, the way that we have been doing things has not been working. And if that's what's going on on the global level, do you think for one second that you're not factored into the greater whole of this? The way that you have been doing things hasn't been working. And that's what I'm saying. It's very humbling for you to sit with yourself Okay, some of you guys are seven of swords. Some of you guys have been really trying to sneak away from doing this inner work. Some of you guys have really been sneaking away with doing this physical labor. It's how you do, it's how you move. It's, is your ambition, is your fire, your desire, has it become your greatest enemy? Are you working too hard? Are you not working hard enough? What is it? All right, so with Seven of Swords, some of you guys have to really look at and examine from a very sacred, safe space, um, definitely with the number seven, it's, the, 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 it's a number of high divinity. So you sit in that space and you sit with the divine, you, you give yourself the grace, the compassion, the kindness to, to sit in that void space or sit in the silence for a minute and say to yourself, okay, what is it that Mars retrograde in Aries is asking me to reevaluate, to reconsider so that I can actually stop fighting and, you know, having to prove myself, having to, to um, prove myself to others. Like, what are we really fighting for here? Are we all working in alignment together or are our individual interests or my individual, ind individual interests, are they all combating with each other? Mars in retrograde says that each one of your goals that you are trying to achieve can be done, but make sure that they're all working together. Do they all hold hands? Are they all working in alignment? For example, some of you guys, I'm going to give a, a, uh, an example here. Some of you guys are, you know, you want a family or you have a family or you want to travel. Okay, I'm going to do this. Some of you guys want to travel and have a business and you know you're like well i'm gonna do and then have your family life but you know um and then it's like all of those separate things they sound great and they are achievable you can do it but how can you run um you know this business this car dealership let's say it's a car deal I, there's with aries energy and mars i'm thinking about race cars and fast things things moving really quickly and boats and stuff like that but how can you have run this car dealership or car wash when you're always away, you're in Bali, you're in um, Japan, you're in um, Indiana, like you're all over the place. So something will have to give, something will start to crumble, something will start to fall. It's not that it can't be done, it's just that the battle to get it done, the battle to make it is so great. 
Work smarter, not harder, okay? So make sure that all of your goals, and some of you guys are going to be re-examining these seven of pen, like all these different seven cups. You have different goals, different things that you want to achieve, your spirituality, your children, your living a healthy lifestyle, um, spending time with your friends and, you know, play and going out, uh, travel, business, cleaning your apartment or your house, all of these goals, they can be achieved. They're things that you want to do. They're things that you know are going to make you better. But is it realistic? So during this time, September 9th through, through November 13th, this is an opportunity for you to re revamp the game plan and see everything on paper. How does it work for you? Is it working? And is there a smarter way to do it? The other thing too is the anger issues, you guys. Some of you guys have anger issues. This doesn't mean that, and I'm hearing that for some of you guys, you're like, no, not me. I never have an explosive moment. That's That could be an anger issue all by itself because do you have a healthy way of expressing your anger? Just because you're not having emotional outbursts or just because they're few and far between doesn't mean that things aren't bothering you and that you're not holding on to them. So during Mars retrograde, this is an opportunity. There's gonna be multiple uh, triggers that will come through that will show you, you know, and give you examples. It does she have a, does he or she have a healthy outlet for expressing their anger? It Anger is a natural human, you know, feeling, emotion. We have to give that the space as well. Mars rules our, our anger, our frustration, our disappointment, and it will find a way. It's not that you can just you know suppress it and it doesn't exist anymore. It always, energy will always find a way to express itself. The same thing comes with your anger. So I'm seeing you guys finding a healthy outlet, a successful outlet to heal your own issues of things that have happened in the past with your disappointments, your hurt, the areas of your life that you have suffered. 2020 is the year of the breakdown for the breakthrough in order to create massive healing so that we can rebuild. And that is not only in our businesses, our relationships, in our government, in our society, but also internally. It's a spiritual, it's a very deep spiritual healing. All right? So I hope that that makes sense, you guys. Please let me know down in the comments how you are vibing with this. How does it feel for you? What are you doing? You know, to you know, a healthy ang outlets for your anger. Some of you guys might be kickboxing. Some of you guys might be bike biking. Some of you guys might be working out. Some of you guys might be journaling or punching a pillow or whatever it is. All of those things are dancing, a lot of hip work and root work type of energy. So there's so many different ways that you can work with it. Let me know down in the comments what's been working for you. Let me know if it resonates. And make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos for where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.